Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore the companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're diving into Oracle Corp, a global leader in database management systems and enterprise software. Oracle has been at the forefront of technological innovation for decades, particularly in cloud computing and database solutions. We'll be discussing how behavioral finance impacts their decision-making, diversity, and inclusion efforts adaptation to different markets and how they compare to other companies in the industry. Let's get started. Oracle has been a dominant force in enterprise software, but from a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like overconfidence and the status quo bias influence their decision making, especially in areas like cloud computing and database management? Overconfidence is particularly relevant to Oracle's approach, especially given its history of dominance in the database management sector. Oracle's leadership in this space has fostered a strong belief in their ability to maintain market leadership and innovate in areas like cloud computing. This confidence has driven Oracle to make significant investments in its cloud infrastructure, even as it faced stiff competition from other tech giants like Amazon and Microsoft. However, this overconfidence can also lead to underestimating the challenges of competing in a rapidly evolving cloud market, where flexibility and innovation are crucial. The status quo bias also plays a significant role in Oracle's strategy. Historically, Oracle has been known for its on-premise software solutions, and the transition to cloud-based services has been gradual. This bias towards maintaining established products and customer relationships has helped Oracle retain a loyal customer base but may have slowed its adaptation to the growing demand for cloud-native solutions. And this focus on leveraging their established strengths while cautiously expanding into new areas has helped Oracle maintain a strong position in enterprise software, appealing to both customers and investors who value reliability and proven solutions. Exactly. Oracle's strategic use of overconfidence in its core competencies and the status quo bias in product offerings appeals to investors looking for a company with a strong foundation in enterprise software. However, this approach also means that Oracle must carefully balance the need to innovate with the importance of maintaining its legacy products and customer relationships, particularly as the cloud market continues to grow. Let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion at Oracle. As a global technology company, DEI is particularly important for Oracle. How does this intersect with behavioral finance? Oracle's approach to DEI is essential, especially as the company operates in a highly competitive and innovative industry. From a behavioral finance perspective, strong DEI initiatives can enhance Oracle's ability to innovate by fostering a culture that values diverse perspectives and encourages creative problem solving. A commitment to DEI allows Oracle to attract and retain top talent from various backgrounds, which is crucial for maintaining its competitive edge in the technology sector. For investors, Oracle's focus on DEI can signal that the company is socially responsible and aligned with modern societal values, which can enhance its reputation and appeal to ESG-focused investors. Additionally, DEI efforts can help Oracle build stronger relationships with customers, partners, and communities, which is vital for long-term success in the global market. Investors are increasingly considering DEI when evaluating companies, especially in tech, where innovation and the ability to address diverse market needs are critical to long-term success. That's right. By embedding DEI into their corporate culture and innovation processes, Oracle not only improves its ability to serve a broad range of customers but also strengthens its market position and attractiveness to socially conscious investors. Moving on to global markets, Oracle operates in numerous countries, providing enterprise solutions to a wide range of industries. How does the company adapt to different markets, and what role does behavioral finance play in this? Oracle's global strategy involves tailoring its products and services to meet the specific needs and regulatory requirements of different regions while maintaining its core focus on enterprise solutions. 
From a behavioral finance perspective, this adaptability is crucial for managing the risks associated with operating in diverse markets. Oracle's ability to navigate complex international regulations such as data privacy laws and cloud compliance standards allows it to maintain a strong global presence. The company's approach to understanding local market dynamics and adapting its strategies accordingly helps mitigate risks associated with geopolitical instability, regulatory changes, and economic fluctuations. By ensuring that its enterprise solutions are relevant and compliant in different regions, Oracle can continue to expand its market share and strengthen its global brand. And this adaptability is essential for Oracle, especially as they face competition from both local enterprise software providers and other global tech giants. Their ability to maintain their brand's relevance and technological leadership in different markets is key to their continued success. Exactly. Oracle's focus on understanding local market dynamics and adapting its strategies accordingly allows them to remain a dominant player in the enterprise software industry while staying ahead of emerging trends and challenges. However, this also requires them to be proactive in responding to changes in global technology standards, data privacy regulations, and competitive pressures. Now, Let's compare Oracle to other companies in the enterprise software and cloud computing industry like Microsoft, SAP, and Amazon Web Services OS. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? Oracle's dynamics are often compared to other enterprise software and cloud giants like Microsoft, SAP, and OS, particularly in their approach to innovation, market expansion, and competition. Oracle's strength lies in its comprehensive suite of enterprise software solutions and its leadership in database management, which appeals to investors looking for stability and long-term growth in the enterprise market. Microsoft, with its focus on cloud computing through Azure and its strong ecosystem of productivity tools appeals to investors interested in a company that balances enterprise solutions with consumer-facing products. SAP, known for its ERP software and business applications, appeals to those looking for a more specialized approach to enterprise software, particularly in large-scale business operations. Oz, as the leading cloud infrastructure provider, attracts investors who are interested in the rapidly growing cloud services market and the future of digital transformation. Oracle's behavioral finance dynamics are shaped by its reputation for reliability, comprehensive enterprise solutions, and global adaptability, making it an option for those seeking stability and growth in the enterprise software industry. And unlike AWS, which is heavily focused on cloud infrastructure, Oracle's strength lies in its full suite of enterprise applications and database solutions, appealing to a broader base of businesses that require integrated software solutions. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value and potential risks. For Oracle, the focus on enterprise software leadership, strong customer relationships, and global reach provides a unique value proposition in the technology sector. To sum up, Oracle's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles, whether it's through their innovation strategies, global market adaptations, or their approach to DEI. But like all companies, they are still subject to the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics provides a clearer picture of what drives Oracle's stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhil. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank you.